What is up everybody and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are all doing well and it has been a couple weeks since I last posted so I promise guys this video will be a banger to make up for it. Because over the last 30 day guys I've been training like the man, the myth, the legend, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Because the gyms kind of just recently opened up. I came back to the gyms and I said, you know what? I kind of want to do something new, something fresh, mix it up, and we'll see how this goes. So here's kind of how the last 30 days went of doing really Arnold's workout split. Now, it wasn't too much different than my current one, but it was a change, and uh, a change is always good once you get kind of bored of your old routine. Now, don't get this mixed up, guys. This is the Arnold split. We didn't do Arnold's cycle. I guess to make this the perfect video, I could have done Arnold's cycle and a split, but you know, I kind of stay away from uh, the, the cycle part of that. But you know, if Arnold himself gave it to me, then you know, maybe I'd have to try it. I'm just kidding, guys, but before I show you actually how the split works, Make sure you drop a like on this video, guys. It helps me out so much. Leave a comment down below, too. And, uh, all right. Anyways, here's how the split goes. Day one is a chest and back day. So we would come into the gym, get a little warm up with the bench. Then take off the pump cover and pretend like I'm huge. <laughs> and start off with bench for the day. We did three sets of five. I don't know why we actually did three sets of five. This is the only workout we did like this. Then to keep the chest pump going, we would hit incline press, three sets of 12, and a decline press, also three sets of 12. After that, the chest feeling very dead, time to move on to the back. So we started off with some rows. Again, hitting three sets of 12. Up next after that, we got pull-ups, three sets of these to failure. And lastly, to finish off the workout for the day, we'd normally end with lap pull-downs, another three set of 12 of those. And sometimes, um, we didn't always do this, but we'd finish off the workout with like a burnout of a back exercise or a burnout of a chest exercise, depending on how we were feeling. You know, we didn't do this every day though, just sometimes. But that's day one in the split, and here's how day two in the split works. All right, guys, it is the best day of the week. Taco freaking Tuesday. I'm just kidding, it's arm day. The one day of the week I get to hit arms, only arms, and have no regrets about it. Let's go do it, this workout plan is sick. So arm day, yes, if you couldn't tell, is my favorite day. Everything we did on this day was basically three sets of 12 reps. So I'm just gonna state that now so I don't have to repeat myself. But it went pretty much something like this. Tricep extensions, bicep curls, shoulder press, but we can definitely go up. Skull crushers, lateral raises, and preacher curls. <laughs> I don't know why, but I felt kind of guilty just working out my arms at the gym for a day. But again, it felt kind of cool, and I actually did really enjoy it. That is how day two of the split works. On to day three. It's 5 a.m. This is the only time we get to work out today, so we're hitting legs and uh, time to snort some pre-workout. Let's head to the gym. So day three was all legs and abs. So today we start off the workout with a little bit of warm up on the legs and then we get into squatting. Oops. Now for squats we did three sets by eight reps and this is the only one we did like that. The rest of them we did three sets by 12 reps. So then we did a leg extension. Hamstring curls. And then leg press. So once we were finished with those four exercises, it was time to do some abs. And normally we do two separate ab workouts, making sure to work 
our obliques in at least one of them and again do three sets of 12 on these two different ab exercises. And then once again, after we do abs, sometimes we would just destroy our legs on a burnout exercise like Bulgarian squats. But that is basically how day three of the split worked. And then you just repeat that cycle over and over again. So before I show you my results of this, I would just like to say how I thought it went. One, I thought this was a great split to follow. And I don't know what it is, but working out your chest and your back on the same day just is a lot more satisfying to me than doing like biceps and back and chest and shoulders. It's like a lower body, upper body and arms type of deal. And it's just very nice the way things work out during these workouts. I don't know. Two, if you ever do follow the split, make sure you are writing down the amount of weight you are lifting on certain exercises so you remember that lift. I mean, you should always be doing this. And lastly, during this time, I was eating a little bit more food than I usually do. So the weight gain I had during this period of time is definitely correlated to that and not just muscle gain at this point. Just remember that, that is probably important. All right, so on day one, me being a really good YouTuber and filmmaker, I accidentally deleted the day one video of how exactly I looked. <laughs> However, here are some images of me from my previous video, which was almost 30 whole days ago. It was a little bit into starting this workout though. However, I do know how much I weighed exactly, and I was 166.4 pounds. And that was the heaviest I had been in a long time. However, after the 30 days of doing this, and maybe eating a little bit more, I am now weighing over 170 pounds. Pounds. And this is my current physique. So yeah, I really did enjoy training in this certain split that Arnold used to follow and would recommend that anyone can follow this because it's super easy, super simple, and you can take plenty of rest days in between the split. Like do three days in a row, then take a rest day, then do three more, etc. Or you can even space it out as doing do one day, then take a rest, then do, do the second one, and then take a rest, and then do the third day. Whatever works for you and whatever you're comfortable doing. But it's super easy to adjust to your schedule, and you can also throw in cardio days in there as well, which I probably should be doing more of. But anyways guys, make sure you drop a like, make sure you subscribe if you're new, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out guys.